In today's review, I'm going to be checking out the Jiku A50 computer speakers, so let's get started. Thank you for clicking on this video and welcome back to another episode of Dad's Den Tech Reviews. If you are new here, basically what we do is we take items that you're going to want to purchase on Amazon or anywhere else, we review them and we determine whether or not the price that they, you have to pay for them is worth the value. So anyway, here we go. And as always, the item that I'm testing and also the other items that I'm using for microphones to cameras to computers to lighting equipment to any other thing that we're using to make this video right now, you can click the links down in the description. You can learn more about those items or you can go and purchase them, including the speakers that we're going to review today. So here we go. As you can see, we got the speakers right here. We will be doing a sound test in just a minute, but we always start with designing features, okay? So this item alone, it's made out of plastic. It feels firm, it feels well-made. It's not loose anywhere. You have rubber grips on the bottom here, so it's not gonna scratch your tables or anywhere else, your coffee tables, whatever it is you're gonna put this on. For me, I'm just gonna put it on my desk. And as you can see, it's not making a lot of noise. It's not gonna scratch my desk, so that is one nice feature. Also, if you want the blue LED lights, you can have them on or you can just click them off. Something simple, I like them on because I think it looks really cool. I don't know why, but I kind of aesthetically, I just like that look. Got a little ahead of myself. I turned the LED button off. I'm supposed to show you this first, but anyway, here is the um, control manual. So you're basically LED on, off. Here's your power button. And then here's your volume control as far as turning the volume up and down. It's basically a simple slide um, piece here. Very, very easy to use and to manipulate. So the speaker gets its power from plugging into the USB port, all right? Then you gotta also plug in the 3.5 millimeter jack, and that's where you need your sound from, okay? So there's your power source and your sound are coming from those two things, pretty darn simple. This sound bar is considered like a mini sound bar or a mini speaker, okay? It is very, very light, extremely light, very small. It's not taking up a lot of space. I mean, here it is completely side to side. You can see it up against my shoulders there. It's not very big and it's super, super light. The sound quality, they say this, superior sound quality, dual full range, five watt speakers, produces crystal clear stereo sound, enrich your music movie experience, okay? So it is a five watt speaker. Of course, just like any other speaker, if you have a 3.5 millimeter plug-in and a USB port anywhere around or power thing, you can plug this into pretty much anything, iPhones, your Androids, you wanna play some video games, whatever, you can use these pretty much with anything these days because every, everything seems to have a USB power port and a 3.5 millimeter jack. So anyway, you're gonna be able to use this with multiple different platforms. Now let's get to it. Let's get to the sound test. What I'm gonna do for this, I have a boom mic on top of it. That's what I'm using right now. I'm gonna leave it exactly how it is. I'm not gonna change anything, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play something from my computer, my laptop here. I'm gonna slide this back. This is my MacBook Pro. You're gonna hear what it sounds like from the speakers from this. Then I'll play you from the speakers from the sound bar. Okay, so you can hear both and you can hear the different volume level changes and things like that. And you guys can make a decision what you think sounds better. Now, it might sound different than what I'm hearing just because you're gonna be hearing it through a microphone. Keep that in mind. I will give my opinion afterwards so you'll hear uh, my opinion on what I think it feels like in real life in real time, okay? And to keep it fair, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep my laptop speaker and the soundbar speaker at the same distance so you guys are hearing it from the same thing. I will put it directly in front so you can hear both sounds, okay? What you're gonna hear first is you're gonna hear my MacBook Pro, okay? And I'm gonna have this on at half level volume, okay? So here we go. Decent speakers, not bad for a laptop. All right, now let's get to the sound bar. So this is a bit tricky to explain, okay? So because the sound bar is coming from the laptop, what I have to do is I have to leave this at the exact same volume, okay? But then I have to take the control here panel for the sound bar and I have to turn that to full volume. So it's basically taking everything full volume from the laptop. Hope that makes sense. So anyway, here's the sound. These speakers are probably about two and a half to three feet away from that microphone, okay? So it's probably pretty dull what you're hearing. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go full volume on both so you can hear the sound difference. Here is from the MacBook Pro. I'm 
just going to be honest, I'm not going full volume with the sound bar because it's a little bit too loud. It's really, really loud. So this is about eight tenths of the way up on the volume scale. Okay, so here you go. fuller sound there you hear that I don't know if you guys can hear that or not the laptop is a little trebly a little raspy almost like a little shaky of the speakers this thing was pretty full I like that so that's the sound test what did you guys think okay here I'm just gonna tell you what I hear from being here live okay the Apple MacBook Pro is decent for you know computer speakers I'm not gonna lie that they're, they're just fine however when I turn it all the way up full volume I'm getting a lot of trouble, you know, a little bit of rattling, not too much, but I'm getting a little bit of that rattle with the, you know, with the beat and the bass, and I'm not really feeling a, a whole lot of bass coming out of there. With the sound bar live, I'm feeling the bass a little bit, and I'm not having that shaky, trebly, rattly sound at all. Very clear sound. Um, I am, I'm going to say it, I, I'm impressed by the sound of the speaker. I really, really am. Um, I didn't know if I was going to be that impressed, but I am. I am impressed with the sound of it. Do we want to pay $23.99 for this soundbar? Because that is what I bought this for and I bought it off of Amazon. And again, if you guys want to purchase it, I'm going to leave the link down below. You guys can check it out more or you guys can go purchase straight from that link. If you do, that's great. It helps me out. I get a little, you know, I get a little bit of money there. So I would appreciate that if you're going to buy it. Please use my link. That would be awesome. But anyway, $23.99 currently on Amazon right now. And it is the GECO A50 stereo speaker. So is it worth $23.99? Um, let's do some price comparisons to some other small soundbar prices here, okay? So I've seen other ones that are similar here. And for $41.99, $31.99. I see another one for $32.99. One for $129.99. Holy smokes, Batman. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody paying that. Ain't nobody got time for that. This is the lowest priced one on the market that I'm seeing. $23.99. So what I like to do in all of these reviews, I like to determine is the price worth the value. And I can absolutely say yes. Definitely dad's den stamp of approval for $23.99. Are you kidding me? Great sound. It's not the most sophisticated speaker. It's really not. This is a budget soundbar speaker and it fits everything that you need for $23.99. It's a great budget speaker. If you're on a budget, I would highly recommend you go get one of these. Again, the link will be down in the description. Um, I liked it. It's gonna be my review of the GECO A50 computer speakers. Hope you guys liked it. Don't forget, click on one of these two videos over here. And as always, work smarter, not harder. See you next time, bye.